What's up friends? How is it going? It's been a long day for me, but I'm here. So I saw this in the Chelsea Lee Art subreddit. Chelsea Lee Art is counseling a homeless woman that is down on her luck to sell herself. Yes, sell her body. And I find this pretty disturbing. And if you don't know, CLA also admits to selling the Punani. But that is not surprising based on a multitude of times she has suggested that's what she has been doing. Other people have suggested that's what she has been doing as well. And just the interactions with different types of people, um, Sir Isaacs, uh, the list just really goes on and on and on. I am completely not surprised that Chelsea R would do something and say something like this and have a mindset where if you're low on cash, well, sell your body now i'm not shaming uh night workers street workers sex work to me because it, it's not my business some people might you know see it certain ways other people see it as a legitimate job uh this video is not to condemn or uh hold anything up on a pedestal i am just going with the facts and giving my opinion uh, not to condemn once again or, you know, promote anything, but maybe give a simple explanation. So let's uh, take a look at this and, uh, hey, leave me any comments under this video. Let's go. I'm not rich. I live in a council flat. Why don't you open up your legs and go boo your car and get some cash? I've done it before, sweetheart. That's, you know... Uh, you can get about, I don't know, put a dress on, you know, there's loads of old pervs around here. You should sell yourself. Yes, absolutely. I'm not rich. I live in a council flat. Why don't you... Yikes, yikes, yikes. Uh, I, I don't know what to say to that. What does that even say on the, um, on, on the cardboard? It says, I am hungry. Uh, food bless you. I am very hungry, food bless you. And then she comes up to the lady, says she's not rich, she lives in a council flat. But once again, we have Evil Queen saying that Chelsea Lee Art does have quite a bit of money saved up. Last time she checked 40,000. If she spent a considerable amount, let's say maybe a quarter, she still has 30,000 pounds left over. In Canadian dollars, that's $60,000. That's a, that's a substantial amount of money. That's a small fortune. And of course, we got Marcus M sitting on about 70,000 pounds. That's like 140,000, you know, Canadian dollars. That's still a very good amount of money. So all in all, it's not like they're poor. Um, they're hustling. Both of them are hustling online and behaving like children. At the end of the day, everybody has their own opinions on uh, SEX work. I have my opinion. You will have your opinion. And I mean, that doesn't mean that anybody's wrong. That just means that you, uh, based on your past, um, your moral compass, uh, what your parents have told you, what your aunt, your uncles, your niece, nephews, you know, your workplace friends, your, your, you know, your people from school have told you, you're going to create and formulate an idea and have a moral compass whether or not you think sex work is right or wrong okay i'm not here to judge people i'm not here or against it i'm just you know stating some facts here and hey you tell me what's up once again let's take a look at this and then i'm gonna roll out of here people smash that like button subscribe all that good stuff you know what i'm here i'm making videos the least you can do is smash that like button subscribe to me i'd appreciate it let's go let's see what she has to say i'm not rich i live in a council flat why don't you open up your legs and go boo your car and get some cash? I've done it before, sweetheart. That's, you know, uh, you can get about, I don't know, put a dress on. You know, there's loads of old pervs around here. You should sell yourself. Yes, absolutely. I'm not really. All right, so that's it. People, thank you so much for this. Really do appreciate you. Leave me a comment, subscribe, share this video. I'm out. Peace. You said I should have texted you more often If I would have wanted you to care But can't you see that I have been busy Trying to pretend that I don't care Look 
I do care, but I don't care. My phone is always on me, but I'm not there. Notified, but it always coincides with something that overrides on the grind over time. Nobody gets no reply. That's bona fide. No disrespect. Screens always lighting up like a cigarette. I save my writing for the symphony. Here's the thing. It wasn't my fault. Yeah, it was. You're not my problem. Look. Yeah. But you got issues. Hey. Don't call me. You said I should have texted. What you say doesn't match up with how you're leaving me on red and how you never pick up the number of the tiny girls on your phone. So you got a pretty high candy crush score, boy, you're wasting your time. Let me tell you that it wasn't my fault, you're not my problem, boy, you got issues. Jealousy. Fundamentally, there's nothing you can thread to top my lethargy. A message in a bottle, and that bottle in an ocean, and that ocean is no metaphor for my devotion, but I don't have the energy. I don't have the energy.